Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Gibbet and how it works. So let's get right into it. I'm going to leave this website in the description below. So go ahead and click on it to get started. If you have an account, log in. If you don't, sign up because you have to be logged in in order to get this. So if you click on files here, it will bring you up to the download and click on manual I don't know much about the ma mod manager but if you do manual it will bring you to this page here and you can just click on slow download you have to pay extra money for fast but we're not here for that it will just take a couple of seconds for it to download go ahead and click file here and go ahead and do extract all it will most likely extract to the downloads but once it does that, go ahead and open it up. Just gonna exit out all this. So when it opens up, it will be just like this. If you have a character already made, you're gonna go ahead and do open. It will automatically open up to this. Go ahead and click on that. And then here are all your characters. So if for example, you don't have a character made what you can do is instead of doing open you do new now once you do new it would probably just be just like this just go ahead and do character if you do new again it will change you know characters but what you can just do is click new and then do class pick whatever class you want it's really up to you we'll do uh zero for video purposes so here's how the experience level work and the syncing if in the game your level this say for example one and you use a different software like chi engine and you change your level chi engine does change your level but not legitimately so if you went to give it and you clicked on sync it will sync to whatever level you are so if you were level one and you change it on G engine and you click sync it will just put level one so what you can do is change to level whatever level you want so max level it's 80 unless you don't have the DLCs but if you do and you do level 80 come here down to experience points and just do sync now no matter what it'll sync always so if you did a level 75 and you just sync it'll do level 80 because of how much experience you have earned for overpower level you could do whatever you want it's your preference so i think 10 is max for general skill points whatever you want and specialist skill points whatever you want for skins doesn't matter just choose whatever you want same thing for vehicle it's your preference currency same thing change it to whatever you want for fast travels i would be careful because it can glitch your uh your game it can it'll ruin your game um i checked all once i went to a boss fight the boss never spawned and then to try to I try to progress into the story and it just wouldn't let me because I did this and even if I unchecked all of them now I just don't have anything unlocked so now it's more fucked so if we're gonna go ahead and do this just when you have whatever file you're messing with save it before you mess with it save it somewhere else in a different file and then come here to give it and mess around with one of the files and if you corrupt it then you have a backup so this is up to you it's at your own risk so for a backpack this is whatever items you have so if you did new weapon base game or whatever you're looking for a lot of options here and you did you know an assault rifle a bandit you could do you know whatever balance you want so very rare manufacturer 
uh, grade, you could do 80. I always keep grade and game stage the same. You can change, you know, whatever elemental it is, um, accessory, you know, etc. So you get the you get the point of this. Um, if there's a specific, like a more specific weapon you want, and you don't want to go through all these options, there's this website that I'm gonna leave the link below, where it has all the weapons in the game. And you could search here for whatever weapon you want, or you could do rarity, and I would just show you like the most rare weapons to the most common weapon. If you wanted World Burn, just click on it, scroll down, and copy the World Burn code. Once it's copied, go to Safe Editor, click on Paste, and it will just basically paste all the information in the weapon. You can mess around with it, so if you didn't want, for example, the reload accessory, you could do damage, or any of these here. This works the same way, like, if you wanted, you know, an, an item, and there was a specific item you want, there's a, you know, the website here, you can do the same thing for this. If not, you can just find it here, whatever you want. Um, so, it's up to you. Now, bank is the same thing. Um, if you have a code, paste it. If you want to just search through all this, that's really up to you. So this is how it works. This is what Give it does. There's obviously more information that I can go through, but if you want to look a quick tutorial on how to use it, this is how you use it. Now, once you want to save it, just click Save As. Click here, and you would do save zero 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 six dot sav save. Now, if you came here and you opened it, and you click character, it will show you that it's here. All right, everything that you just did, it's all here all the changes etc this is how you use it and that's how you save it if you want more information and just more specific information and how to use it a lot better like a more in-depth video let me know i'll make it on the video and i'll show you guys and explain it you know way better this is also a good combination with um cheat engine that you can use with borderlands um i can make a video on that too i can and also just make a specific video on how to use the cheat engine just let me know in the comments i'll catch you guys in the next video have a good day peace